Hello, I thought I would share with you a few things that I have been working on today. I need to um, build my stash a little bit more because I've been going through my supplies, working on my album for my parents, having a lot of fun with that. I have been wanting to get some more pro um, washi tape for my Project Life album, among other things. Sometimes washi tape comes in handy for. And um, for some reason, I tend to and I do this with my clothing, I end up getting a lot of black. And I don't want black for everything in my uh, project life or cards or whatever I'm wanting it for. So I was needing some more colors. And um, I've seen videos on making washi tape with tissue paper and wrapping paper. And so today I thought I would experiment and see how it would go uh, by using napkins. The napkins that you see on the table, the one, the, this blue one I had picked up at a party that we went to and I thought it was so pretty that I took one home with me and um, this one I think my mom bought from Ikea in a pack. You get a pack of them, I forget how many you get, but Ikea has a lot of neat things. I love whenever we go north to visit my family, I like to visit Ikea as well. But um, what I did with this is I cut a panel out of the section of the napkin. I opened it up and um, you can see I've got that section of the napkin missing. And I ran it through my Xyron sticker maker. I have a couple of different sizes. The one I used for this um, project was the 5 inch one. And I, um, after I cut that square out, I Tape this. I ran it through. This is I didn't. I don't have this cut down. This is a a sheet, a square of that now. See, uh, my nails aren't good. There's. Oh, that tape's getting bad. Okay, I got it. I think. Yep. Not good tape, I guess. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to take that piece of tape off and get a different one. Um, this is, I ran this in image side up through the sticker maker, so that way the sticky, the paper part comes out on the bottom. And um, I cut one out. This is one strip roll that I have wound up. Um, I cut this at an inch and I ran it through my um, Fisker's paper cutter slicer. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> Thingy. Uh, but it's a very old one. I just replaced the blades and the blades that they make for the new one still works in the old one. So that's a good, that's a plus for me. So I can still use my old um, cutter. But I was just going to show you this real quick. Um, I think the key when you do use that to move fast, because down towards the bottom I, I didn't move quite as fast, and it left that kind of a rough edge, which is perfect if you're working on a um, vintage project or something that you're wanting that kind of a look for. But if you're not, if you're wanting a nice clean edge, either move quicker with the blade um, should make the difference, or you may prefer to even cut it by hand, just cut strips yourself. If you've got a good if you have a good steady hand and a good eye for doing that, that would work just as well. So um, this is a larger image. I don't have this one cut down to size yet. I left it like this just in case I want to use it with any of my dies later or something. So but um, I'm just rolling these up and making little tubes out of them for storage. And then this one, I, I really don't want to cut the bird, so I'm thinking about maybe just uh, running it through the Xyron and just making some washi sheets, so that way I can use it for other other purposes or something. I don't know. I'm not I'm not good for with uh, fussy cutting because my hands will cramp up on me. But um, some people may you know they may do well with that. And the other thing. Uh, I've been working on today. I needed some more fun papers for backgrounds and die cutting and stuff like that. So 
I was just playing around with some of my color wash inks. And um, for this one, I used the red pepper, I used the lettuce, and purple twilight. And what I did was I um, missed, I squirted, squirted it on my plastic here, and then I um, misted water over the top of that. And then I also used some of my Moon Glow uh, burnished bronze. And then I just took my paper and ran over the the wet ink on the plastic. And it soaked it up. And then I used my... Well, before that I used um, my Royal Amethyst Fire Moon Glow. This is the Lindy Stamp Gang. And then I used the heat gun and dried it all real good on there. But I thought it turned out so pretty. I love the look. Um... I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up as well as what I'm seeing, but to me it has kind of a leather effect, and it looks very, um, it would be really pretty on one of those journal books that you're wanting to put a cover on, because it, it looks like a piece of leather that you would go um, on a book or something. I thought it's really, really pretty. But look at the back. I thought the back was just as pretty. And for some reason, the greens didn't show through on the top as much. And on the back, you really see the green and the coppers. And the, this really looks, has like a aged patina look to it. So, actually, I could use either side of this paper. And um, my dad, he likes to collect old vintage locks and keys and different things like that so I may be able to use this to die cut out some shapes that um, would represent some of those things that he likes to collect so I'm not sure what I'll use it for exactly yet but I'll have it <laughs> I can do something with it and I like to I'll make more different things that's not the only one that I'll make but that's what I've been working on so I'll have a um, a good stash. The stamp that I used on that um, for the embossing was from this set I've shown before. It comes from the Fisker's Kaleidoscope set. And I used it on my Fisker's um, pun stamp press. I absolutely love this thing. Uh, it helps me with getting a nice, clear, straight image because sometimes my hands get a little shaky. I'm not feeling um, too well, then sometimes I'll get a little on the shaky side. So this will help me to keep my hands, um, get a nice, good, straight image with it. So anyway, I just thought I would share that with you. I'm having fun, and I hope you are too. And uh, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.